Hey guys, welcome to yet another edition of Anoda Digital Storytime, and let's dive right in. Come on, Nutsy. Alright, well you know what, I like to start off with my favorite game, it's called Guess the Sound. I want you to grab a friend, grab a sibling, grab a brother, grab a mother, see if you can guess what the sound is, and here we go, one, two, three, listen up. Whoa, what was that? Oh my goodness, I don't know what that was. All right, well go ahead and say out loud what you think it is. And let's find out. Give me a drum roll. It is, let's see, a baby jaguar. A jaguar. I can never say that name. Look at that baby jaguar. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. Those two jaguars right there. Well, you know what, guys? Today, I thought I got to thinking about big cats when I listened to that Guess the Sound. And so I thought I would read you about a big dog. And Clifford is the biggest dog I've ever seen. He's a big red dog. And this story is called Oops. Clifford, and it was written by Mr. Norman Bridwell. That means he wrote the words. He's the author. And it starts like this. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth. I have the biggest, reddest dog on our street. This is my dog, Clifford. Isn't he cool? Oh, he's not perfect. He makes mistakes sometimes. Clifford just doesn't know how big he is. One day, his pals found some pipes to play in. Clifford tried to follow them. But he was too big. The pipe was stuck on Clifford's nose and he couldn't see. Oops. Luckily, the pipe came off. Splat! Do you think Clifford thought that was lucky? Ooh, I bet that would hurt. I wouldn't think that was lucky. When all the kids in town had a sack race, Clifford wanted to race too. The coach said that all his feet had to be in one bag. I found a sack that was big enough. Do you think he's going to get all those feet in that one little sack? I don't know. Look at that coach. He's It's like Coach Jones right there. Look at that. Just like him. Then we were off. He did it. He got all his feet in that one sack. They're having a sack race. Oops. Poor Clifford. Oh, it didn't work for Clifford. Look, he fell down. But these kids, look, there's Emily. She did really good. One day, Clifford and I were doing good deeds with our friend Tim. Somebody had let the air out of the tires of a car, and the man asked if we could help him. Would you help someone who needed help? I bet you would. I would love to help someone who needed help. Tim took a rubber tube out of the car and stuck it on the tire valve. Then he told Clifford to blow air through the tube. I think, what do you guys think? That's a good idea. Is Clifford going to be able to blow some air in the tube? I think with his big, big lungs and big mouth, he'll be able to blow a lot of air in the in the tire. Well, let's see what happens. Clifford blew and, oh, oops, he blew a little too hard. The tire busted apart just like you pop a balloon. OMG. The man felt better when we took his car to a garage for him. So Clifford was nice enough to take the man's car to the garage to get his tire fixed. That's good. Still, wow. Clifford put on a clown costume and joined the act. Clifford enjoyed being a clown. He wagged his tail. Oops. That made the act even better. Why's the act better look? Because he's got some good pies to eat. Look at that. They all have pies to eat. That's good. He likes that. See? He's smiling. One day, two nice police officers asked me about my dog. I told them that he could do tricks. Then I told Clifford to roll over. Thum, 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 thum. Uh-oh. Oops. That was a mistake. What did he do to the car? He crushed it. Crush means it's smashed. It's pushed down really, really small. Oh, my goodness. Later that day, I saw a girl do a foolish thing. She was walking on the railing of a bridge. Should we walk on a bridge's railing? No, sir. Reed. We never do that. It's very dangerous. Look what happened to that girl. Then she slipped. Ah! Her dog tried to save her, but he just wasn't big enough or strong enough. Help! Help me! Help! Hooray for Clifford. He saved the girl out of the water. 
The policemen were so happy that they forgave Clifford for mashing their car. It's okay, Clifford. You did a good thing today. <laughs> said Clifford. Clifford may not be perfect, but I love him just the same, said Emily Elizabeth. She loves her big dog. If you have a pet that you love, go ahead and snap your fingers. Remember, if you can't snap your fingers, you can blink those fingers. I'm blinking mine right now. But guys, we are all out of time. It's another great Clifford story for you. I had a great time reading you the story, and I can't wait till next week when I can read to you again. And I really can't wait to see you all again. But until then, I'm going to say bye-bye.